Hey guys, welcome to my first video on aging, and in this video I'll discuss what is aging, some aging, aging trends, and some theories of aging. So, what is aging? Well, first you have to look around in nature. And you notice in nature that everything ages, whether it be animals or it be some inorganic material such as um, a block of iron. So I just wrote here, iron rust. So that's, that's aging, essentially. Um, it is, I think, at least, at least how I would define it is the increase in in interactions between um, between chemicals that causes a disorder. So what happens with iron rust is that iron is converted from iron, pure iron, into iron oxide, a mix between iron and iron oxide, especially on the surface. And in humans or in animals, it's a similar process. It's I, aging in, in animals is the inability of the organism to resist um, changes that bring the animal's health out of homeostasis. Aging is Sorry for the horrible handwriting. It's kind of hard to maintain the light and write at the same time. Organism to uh, well to be to unmaintain homeostasis. This this is not a real word. It's uh to I'll just say to get out of. That's horrible handwriting. Okay, well, for essentially for the organism's body to be out of homeostasis, to be unbalanced, and that is due to stuff like damage, um, UV rays can damage the skin, and um, rapid oxygen species can damage your mitochondria and things like that. So that's essentially what aging is. It's probably not your dictionary diction or dictionary damage or dictionary definition, but this is how I define it. And aging, aging trends, there is some things like size, um, bigger animals such as humans or bears or things like that tend to live longer. Whales, uh, sturgeon fish which tend to grow really big, and, they, and turtles, but they, the, uh, the sturgeon fish can live up to about 300 years old. And turtles way past 100, and humans about 100. Well, if you compare humans, whales, and other large animals to the side to flies and worms, there's an obvious trend that we live a lot longer. And then another thing is intellect. The smarter animals tend to live longer. And you're comparing stuff again like chimpanzees, humans versus flies. Uh, we live a lot longer. Other things uh, include rep reproduction. Rate. Animals who tend to reproduce faster also have also has a shorter lifespan. See, evolutionary wise, it makes sense because the purpose of what well, the purpose of natural selection is to select for the trait that will carry on to the next generation that would cause the species to survive. So, a species that can survive by reproducing really quickly will need. A longer lifespan because their species will survive at the shorter lifespan but the point is that they're trying to have massive amounts that is hard so it's hard to do to squash them stuff like that includes ants it's really i mean we have ants in the kitchen and it's impossible to kill them all you have like thousands of them in there you kill them all the next day they're all back so those are three some three important trends in aging and then some even more important parts which are the theories now, there are a lot of theories. Uh, I'll just cover whatever comes up to mind right now, and uh, maybe in next videos I might cover more if, if those come up to mind. All right, so one of the theories is the telomere theory. Or telomeres. Telomere theory. The theory that as the telomeres shorten, lifespan is, well, the telomeres de de determine the length of uh, an organism, an organism lives. Um, so as in humans, if your telomere, or telomere is too short, then that would cause the ends of the chromosomes, because that's where the telomeres are. It's a perfect time to draw. 
Um, that does not look like a cove, so. So here are the telomeres. And this is a chromosome, which I'll write as CHRX. It's, oh, the light's blinding it. It's not blue. Okay, telomere, which I'll write as CHRX. And the ends of it, right here, are called the telomeres. And when the telomeres shorten, because they start off pretty long, and after each successful reproduction, it gets shorter and shorter and shorter until it essentially frays like the end of our shoelace, as Michio Kaku describes. And when it frays, then it, 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 something happens called cellular senescence. And that is essentially when the cell stops dividing and, and division is, is just stops. Also, a cell that doesn't stop dividing may cause things such as cancer, which is just rapid, uncontrolled cell division. So, telomeres are important. But there's also some controversy with that, because in other animals, such as flies, flies have huge telomeres, but their lifespan is so short. So there's other factors other than telomeres that controls the aging life or the lifespan of an organism. There are also supplements you can now buy on eBay for about $500, can get a, about a three month supply of telomerase, which is the enzyme um, that lengthens the telomeres. Um, I wouldn't hold my breath for it, uh, it's just not going to increase your lifespan that much or at all, maybe. Um, another theory would be the hor hormone theory that different hormones can control your lifespan, or essentially what we are our size, um, different regulations in our body, is controlled by hormones, such as uh, growth hormone and IGF-1, insulin growth factor 1. Growth hormone has a huge impact on aging, especially in rats. Um, a rat with an overexpressed growth hormone gene will live significantly shorter lives than the wild type rat with rats, because it causes premature aging, um, in six to eight month rats, they already start seeing uh, diseases that you wouldn't see until they were a few years old. So children rats get the same symptoms of diseases as older rats. Um, also, if you have in the reverse part, uh, if the rat has a growth hormone deficiency, then, then they live a lot longer. So that's another thing that's important. Telomeres, hormones, Another one of these important causes or theories of aging is um, put it here, free radical theory of aging. So free radicals are just un or molecules or atoms with an odd number of electrons, or they just have an unpaired electron such as oxygen, which has a valence shell of six electrons and has and needs two more. So this sort of oxygen is very reactive. And you can find this oxygen in um in cellular respiration, especially in the mitochondria. I won't go into too much too much details in this right now. But this well, what happens to it? Uh so it's really reactive. It wants two more electrons. So to get these two more electrons it would tear up your mitochondria, it could tear up your DNA because you can find the rapid oxygen species, such as oxygen, not only in the mitochondria where it's used, but also in the cytosol, cytoplasm, it's everywhere. And that's another theory. So I'll just cover the three ones right now, three theories right now. Free radical theory, telomere theory, and the hormone theory of aging. Alright, see you later.